Burning Coal. Let's do that. Norfolk Southern Diesel Locomotive Roster, GE-480CW, 154 active units. Seriously? Oh. Those are some nice looking units. Okay, I'm back to the coal. Working on a coal mine. Going down, down, down. Working on a coal mine. Woo. Welcome to the cab of this BR4F. You are about to learn how to refuel your coal. Close these message boxes to continue. To turn water into steam and a boiler must be kept hot to achieve this locomotive burns coal in a firebox. Yeah, I know. To keep the fire burning, we need a lot of coal. Four tons of it, in fact. Holy cow. Let's fill the tender with coal, pull forward, and stop next to the coal tower. Which is where? That's it, I guess. Ugh. All right. Okay, I think I know how to do, kind of do this. Really, we're going to be like that? Nicely done. Yeah, I bet. Free camera. Eight on the keyboard. I see that doesn't work. And click on the coal tower. The free camera. Eight. Oh. Okay. I don't know how to use this camera. So I'm going to use this one instead. Uh, I don't know what that does. See, and I'm not far enough forward again. Stupid. Uh. Okay, I panicked a little bit there, but it's all right. Now, let's see if I can do this. No, 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 no. shot to do the free camera, huh? Nope, I don't. Okay. So now what am I supposed to do? Oh, there. Okay. And what? Shit. What am I supposed to click on? I don't know what I'm supposed to click on now. So confused. You have to put that on from the, um, can't even see the engine <laughs> in that camera. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, let me... Um, try to back up a little bit. Let 
there. Come on. Okay, from I have to do that from inside here, I guess. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. But see, this is not this is not far enough forward. Not at all. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I'm going to um, restart. BR4F. Yeah, coal. Turn water into steam. Start burning. Let's fill the tender with coal. Pull forward and stop next to the coal tower. That's supposed to be the coal tower? Uh, let's do up. About up. Okay, we'll do 52. Begin filling the tender. Click on the coal tower. To begin filling the tender, use the free camera and click on the coal tower. Okay. There. That's all there was to it. Congratulations. We have all the coal we need. Not sure why you'd do that, but oh well. Okay, that wasn't so hard, was it? Yeah, it kind of was, because it. Uh... Okay, those should all be done. Uh, switching cabs. Yeah, I kind of want to learn that. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna tackle that. It's now autumn and cloudy. Why? It, well, no, it's autumn, but it's sunny. All right, let's see how badly I can mess this up. Back to my really. Oh, man. There's a list of all the Dash 840Cs that are out there, but it doesn't tell you basically anything. Horsepower, 4,000. Dynamic braking, yes. Control, desktop, cab signals, yes. Locomotive speed limiter, yes. Fuel capacity. 5,000 gallons, approximately. 
Some of the units are originally equipped with electronic fuel injection. Some of the units built with larger Dash 9 style radi radi radiators with split cooling. Units upgraded with emissions. Hmm. Sounds like they've upgraded those like about every 20 units. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to change train ends. Close each window to continue and before performing instructions. When a train reaches the end of the line, it must turn around and head back the other way. To accommodate this, modern trains have a driving cab at both ends to save having to physically turn the whole thing around. Makes a lot of sense. Our train has just arrived into the station. and We are at the buffers. To head back the other way, we must change ends. Do this now by pressing Control and Plus or Minus on the keyboard. Control and plus or minus. Y, Y2. Alright, congratulations. You have successfully changed ends. This concludes this cab switching tutorial. Well, that was anticlimactic. Control plus. That's it. And we're, do we're good. Uh, you know, I wonder if I'll ever remember any of these things when I need them. Will I have to go back and watch my own video? Probably. I'm thinking maybe what I should have done is done a series of tutorials on each engine, taking each engine through the paces. And I, if I can find a way to reset these, I might do that. Okay, switching cabs on the BR-189. I didn't think you could do that with that one. Oh, I guess you can. Okay. I, I had forgotten that was a... A... Uh, an electric event. So the Southern Dash 840 built by GE, uh, 4,000 horsepower. Don't know when it was built, however. I'm not finding that. Hmm. Nice looking locomotive. Okay. This is kind of a workhorse commuter passenger locomotive looking thing. In this tutorial, you'll learn to switch cabs. Close each message box to continue and before carrying out instructions. Trains can only move forwards and backwards along the track. For safe operation, it's always necessary to drive the train from the front in the direction of travel. Duh. For efficiency, many modern locomotives feature a driving cab at both ends. For safety reasons, you cannot switch to another driving cab and start controlling the locomotive when it's already in motion. If you do, you'll only be able to view the action as per other cameras. To change to the other end of the locomotive, simply press the Cycle Cabs button by pressing Control and Plus or Minus. So, am I supposed to do that now? Control plus. Okay, I did it. Well, that was a slow message. To switch driving cabs and change first, bring the locomotive to a stop. With the brakes applied, use the cycle cabs button to change to the other end, then put the locomotive in forward, release the brakes, apply power, and drive back along the track. I don't know how to release the brakes. Okay. And... Okay. Yeah, I don't think they gave me credit for that because they did it before the instructions came up.
No, I'm going to have to redo this one because it didn't give me the instructions right away, so I assumed I was supposed to go ahead and do it, and I wasn't. And it's not going to let me get credit for that. So apparently you can drive either of these from either end. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Turn for efficiency. Reason you cannot switch. Uh, start controlling when it's already in motion. Well, duh. Okay, now, are you going to give me the instructions or not? There, to the switch, driving cab is first to bring the locomotive to stop with the brakes applied. Use the cycle cabs button to change to the other end, then put the locomotive forward, release the brake supply power, and drive back along the track. Uh, okay, I assume, I mean, I'm stopped, so I assume that's good. Right? Release the brake, give yourself a little forward momentum. It's either going to be all or nothing, huh? How far am I supposed to go? Might be another one of those how far you're supposed to go before it tells you that you're done things. Maybe I have to go all the way to the end. I suppose. coming to the end of the track. Why is it allowing me to go 100 miles an hour? That's kind of dumb. There's no indication other than the um, HUD on the bottom that that I need to stop. Here it comes. Finally. Stupid. Zone. Okay. Uh, now it's telling me something. Congratulations, you have successfully switched cabs and changed direction. <laughs> oh, train simulator. Debating whether I want to go into the hardest one of all, advanced brake systems. Coupling and uncoupling, I've done some of them. I'm great at it, but I've done it. We have some loading and unloading. We need to do that eventually. 